What is up YouTube? Brandon here. Today we're going to be doing a quick overview of the rifle I'm going to be shooting for PRS production rimfire uh, this year. Um, really excited about this. I've wanted to get into um, PRS for a long time and decided now I was going to jump into the deep end. So tax return, here we go. Um, anyway, for this year, the dollar amount that you're allowed to spend MSRP um, to remain in production division is $1,600. So between the CZ 457 MTR and the scope, which is an Athlon Helos uh, BTR Gen 2, um, I came in, I think it was $1,597 uh, MSRP. Um, so those are the only things that count towards your MSRP cap. Um, and then you can make other external modifications to the gun as you see fit, and they don't count against the MSRP cap. But you're not allowed to change um, internals, like you can't go having a uh, gunsmith, you know, rechamber it and stuff like that. I think you're allowed to bet it um, and you're allowed to quote tune the trigger, I believe is what the manual says. Um, but from my understanding, you're not allowed to replace any parts. Um, I could be wrong, but as far as I'm aware, you're not allowed to change out springs or anything like that. So I just finished um, tuning the trigger as best I could with stock settings and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So we'll start at the front and we'll just go front to back. Um, on the front, we're running the AccuTac uh, PC4 um, uh, bipod. I like this one because it has swivel and I like bipods with swivel, so there we go. Um, it's on the 12 inch Area 419 uh, Arca rail, which I installed myself. Just went and got the bit at Home Depot and drilled it and uh, followed the instructions online, pretty easy. Um, I'm running the Area 419 uh, barricade stop and then also the Area 419 um, rail on the top. This is a 30 MLA one, and I'm also running their bolt knob. Um, the scope rings I'm running are the American Rifle Company M10 rings. I really like these rings, and I happen to have an extra pair lying around that were 34 millimeter, perfect for this scope. Again, the scope is the Athlon Helos BTR Gen 2. Um, it's eight by or a six by twenty-four by fifty-six. It's a little bit heavy, but you know you got to come in under the MSRP cap. So this was the best option um, that allowed me to stay under that cap. Um, at the rear, running a Bradley cheek rest. This is the Crazy Horse uh, leather cheek rest. It's really nice. Doesn't mar up the stock at all. Um, it's really stable, and uh, he makes one specifically for this CZ. So you don't have to get the longer straps and use one that doesn't quite fit as well. Um, this, I think it looks really good. Um, and finally, I'm going to be running a Schmedium um, bag in the rear. So yeah, that's the rifle. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, I'll just show you the trigger pull. It's really impressive. I started out stock was about 3.1 pounds, pretty consistent, um, with just a little bit of creep at the beginning. Um, but I was able to tune it and clean it up, and I got it down to between 8 and 10 ounces. So it's already cocked and I'll do one pull real quick and uh, show you what we get here. But yeah, it's really nice now and it's still safe. I've got to try to get this lined up correctly. All right, Let's see what we got. So yeah, just a hair, um, about eight to nine ounces there. Really, really impressive how the trigger turned out. I know some people uh, get good rifles from CZ and others, you know, they can't get it below two pounds. So I was really lucky that I got a rifle that um, I was able to tune the trigger really nicely. So yeah, I'm excited to, I'm taking this to the range tomorrow. I've got about six or seven different types of ammo I'm going to test out, see which one it likes the best. And then we'll kind of go from there. All right. Thanks for watching.